Hi everybody, welcome to Scaled Factory. This is my first video, so I am so excited to share my passion for modeling and printing with you. Today, we are starting a new project. It's fun and practical. A simple, continuous velocity joint. I'll guide you step by step through modeling it in Autodesk Fusion 360, designing a custom base, and then preparing it for 3D printing using Bamboo Lab Studio. Today, we'll start by modeling a simple CV joint in Fusion 360. By the end of this video, you will have this model. We will start by modeling the socket parts. So let's create a component called socket. The socket itself is a, a spherical body. Uh, it's cut it on one side and has some slit. It will be a spherical shell. So we are, will create the inner side of the socket right now. Actually, a centimeter will be just okay for it. So this profile will be the part that will be cut out from the sphere. Symmetrical. Cut and... Yep, that will work. Now it is the inner surface of the socket. Now we'll make it as a shell to outside because it was our inner surface. And let's say two millimeters. More than enough, but okay, maybe 1.5 will be better, or even one. One looks better. Okay, now the socket is ready. Let's turn back to our sketch once again. Uh, right now I want to make some slits. So the pins of the ball, that the ball that's inside of the socket, will move through that slits. Okay. Let's make it here.
Let's check, okay. Now we will cut out that profile, then we will have fillets to make it like a round slit around here. We want it to be symmetrical. Let's say... Okay, one slit is here. In fact, I want it to be... So, slit number one. Now we will make the round. There will be four slits. Okay, looks great. And the shafts of the socket. Let's say it will be 4 millimeters in diameter. Twenty five millimeters looks nice. New body, and yes, oops. Okay, the socket is ready. And now let's make the pin. We'll start by the socket, uh, inner part of the socket, that's fair, again, and So the uh, socket, the inner diameter of the socket was a 10 millimeter. I want to make them the printing place style, so I should have really nice tolerance here Let's say 
9.6 mm. Will work and Okay, now the that small pins. So the width of the slits was three millimeters. I want them to move freely, so two point five looks okay. Or maybe that feature. Yes. There will be a pin for each slit, so we'll use pattern here. Great. The last part will be the shaft of the pin. Again, this time let's say it will be 3 millimeters. Okay, <clears throat> actually the joint is ready. Let's try how it moves. Assemble. We will add the joints. It's a ball joint, so let's check if it moves. Yep, it moves, but as you see, it moves more than required. Because actually, the fusion knows that there's a ball joint, but yet it doesn't know uh, the limits. We should inform it. One way to do it is using contact sets. Enable contact sets, and we will define. New contacts is now. Fusion will check the possible contacts and limit the movement. As you see, as 
And there you have it, a complete CV joint model. In the next part, we will create a base to showcase this joint. See you.